the RS Jamie YouTube channel. Today I want to take you through some subtle mods that I've done to my Escort Cosworth and my RS2000 and they are subtle mods as well. Um, for me, with my cars, I like them to look OEM, I like them to look original. So these little modifications just help in aiding that. It looks like they've just left the dealership by adding these in. And so what I did to start is have a look through the history of my cars and find out who were the supplying dealers for both of those cars. Now you find me in the kitchen. Um, why am I in the kitchen? Well, I do read all the comments on my YouTube and a lot of people, I've noticed there's a trend saying I should get back in the kitchen. So I like to respond to my viewers and here I am. So for me, when I'm buying an RS um, or any car, history is everything, but more so with these older cars. And you can see I've still got the original owner's handbook, the service guide, and just look how much history we've got in the file. There is just so much. And one of the things in the file, which is really, really interesting, is this the original order form for the car. And the car was supplied by Bridge End Ford, which are synonymous with the Cos Cosworth models. And you can see here, the original price of my car was 25,995. Um, the car came with air conditioning and passenger airbag as standard, and also a tracker, which is really interesting, and number plates, which is quite a good segue into what we're going to talk about today. Um, you can see here, also still retain the original Bridge, Bridge End key ring. Moving over to the RS2004 before, again, good history, not as much as the Escort Cosworth, but a few more owners on the car. Uh, we've still got the original service guide, the owner's book, and then with a bit more digging, we found the original dealer stamp here of Evans Halshaw in Halifax. So for me, really about um, making this car more OEM, making both cars look like they've left the factory. We've got the original brochure here as well. And what's really, really important interesting I think with the RS2000 is some of the story behind that car. Now I've talked about it in some of my videos before, um, heritage is everything for me. So we look here, this car here, this is in a Jeremy Walton book, we just focus in, E88YVX. This is the original mule car for the RS2000 4 before. So it was actually in this Mark IV model which the car was born. So 1988, the car was born and it eventually came to surface in the Mark V in 1991. And I think that just harps back again to the heritage of the car and why I love them so much. The other reason I love them so much is because of this car, which was my first Mark VI, which was a GTI, uh, bought it from my parents and modified it. My parents also had a Mexico. Um, somebody said to me recently, you've not shown much of the Mexico recently. Well, there is a reason for that and more will be to come about the story behind the Mexico and what I'm doing with it in the coming weeks. So having discovered that the Escort Cosworth came from Bridge End Ford originally, and the RS2000 from Evans Halshaw, I managed to source these dealer sets for both cars to make them look more OEM and like they've just left the factory. So what I'm gonna do today is go out and fit them. So I've just given the RS2000 a quick clean before I change the plates and you can see the original plates here in the newer style text, more synonymous with the kind of after 2001 registration. You can see just here, supplied by Car Wars. Um, I think the dealer principal there was a guy called Garth Vader. But if you look here, the newer one with the bigger numbers and letters just looks so much better. You can see me here now just taking off the original plates. They are screwed on. Um, there they go. Let's get the new ones on. And now these two look like they could have just literally come off the dealer forecourt in 1995. So the only way that I could think of attaching the rear boot sticker, thanks for that, um, was um, by sitting in the actual boot. I think that is somebody I know in an M2, but until I watch the video back, I won't know. But it's in, and I haven't messed it up, which is the main thing. So here we are, um, plates changed, which I'm really happy with. I think it absolutely transforms the look of the car. Um, you can see here, I don't think I mentioned it in the first video, we've actually got a full Magnex stainless steel exhaust system on the RS2004 before as well.
And then if we come down and have a look at the Escort Cosworth, I've changed the plates on this too. So we've now got the larger font, 1995 text. Um, and you can see the old plates in the corner there off this car. I've actually left the RS Onus Club tax disc holders in because I've got them in the this one and the Escort Cosworth and I just like them. Um, I might change them at a later date but until now I'm going to just keep them as they are and I just can't stop looking at this one. It just looks so good. I just think OEM is so important still having the original alarm stickers on, um, getting into the car, the original mats and the original stereo system. I, I just, you know, so much of this stuff got changed back in the day. Oh, and that needs to go, doesn't it? So another subtle modification. We have my air freshener in. How cool, get one at Emoji Fresh. So it's been a good day doing some subtle modifications, little details I always say make all the difference with these cars. Adding the plates and the deal stickers I think really does change the whole look of the car uh, for very, very little money. So I hope you've liked our little journeys. We've changed over the plates and done a few bits today. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of them and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers guys.